Yo, yo, welcome to Small Mouth Crush. Oh yes, it's that time. I made it, I'm in Wisconsin. Got a little video for you guys, all coming up. Big smallies, maybe. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm on a little inland lake. We're gonna go cruise around, see what happens. Uh, I'm exp expecting these fish to be up on beds. And I like to bed fish every once in a while. It's a fun little way to uh, put some big fish in the boat. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. And uh, hopefully we can find some big ones. This, this lake here isn't going to have the giants. The, you know, a five and six pounder is gonna be hard to come by, but there's gonna be plenty of fours, I assume, and maybe a handful of fives. Um, I'm not sure what to expect. Haven't been here in a few years, so let's get at it. So wow, what a bummer. First trip up in Wisconsin. And I have no audio. I mean, I don't understand these GoPros. Been dealing with this for a while. Unfortunately, I took a lot of time to explain what I was doing. Yada, yada, yada. But I'm gonna salvage it. We'll make it work. Basically, I just went around the lake, found a bunch of fish on beds, some some nice males guarding. It went to work with them. You know, if they were real aggressive like some of these fish were, I love to pull out a big flipping stick, throw a creature bait, get them all excited, all upset, and they'll hit that thing. Sometimes on the first pitch. Other times you might come across the bed and that fish is uh, a little spooky. And then I would just basically pick up a drop shot and throw some type of goby or imitator on that. And that seemed to do the trick as well. But again, there wasn't a lot of huge fish here. I mean, for, for the lake this size, this is a pretty small lake. Those are pretty good smallies for a lake this size in a lake that doesn't receive a whole lot of fishing pressure by any means. And you never know, sometimes you can come across a, a pretty nice sized fish. What I really like about this lake is it's not like crystal clear like you'd find on Lake Michigan. Uh, there's a slight stain to it, uh, but the fish do spawn fairly shallow. So I'm in about four to five feet of water and I can make out the beds most of the time. Obviously high sun and light winds is your friend when you're sight fishing. And today we had the sun but we had a pretty good chop. But the fishes, the beds actually stand out pretty well. They're actually a darker, darker black, uh, round shadow that you're basically pitching to down there. And every one, I mean, there was, I don't know, I, a lot of this, a lot of these fish I'm not even gonna put on, on the camera. You guys get the idea. It's just a lot of fun setting the hook on these fish. I really wish the audio was working. Big old flipping stick, getting a bite like that, I'll take that any day. Solid. Big fish of the day. Big fish of the day. Goes to this guy. This 
Blake puts out some decent four and a halves. You know, what do you want me to do? Well, we got on a few fish today. You know, this lake I'm fishing really doesn't have the big ones, you know, the, the, the five, six, seven pounders. It was just pretty windy out, and I didn't want to go on the big lake today, so I just figured I'd fish some inland waters here. And, you know what, I don't like to bed fish a whole lot. It does get old after a while. And I, I like, I do like it, I, I shouldn't say that. It, it, it's fun, but I only like to do it in certain areas. I like to do it where they don't get a lot of pressure. There's very rarely any boats on this lake. You know, these fish haven't been caught too many times, if, if at all. But I, I don't really, I hate sight fishing in popular crowded areas where those fish just keep getting pulled off the beds constantly. Um, you know, if we have to do it in a tournament, that's what we'll do. But for fun fishing, if I can do this once or twice a year, get my fix. Now I will sight fish. Now, I do enjoy sight fishing uh, for betters when, when the females are there as well, and, and you can coax them into biting. Right now, these are just real heavy sized males uh, guarding, the, guarding the nest. So, you're only going to get, you know, you're going to get your handful of four pounders and hopefully a five every once in a while on a lake like this where the bigger females already came up and spawned and they, they're moving out, recovering right now. All right, so we got a solid 20 plus pounds of smallies today, sight fishing, not bad. Caught quite a few fish. I'm actually gonna go ahead to one more lake, one more inland lake. So I'll make a video uh, that'll be coming up next. And probably gonna end up doing some sight fishing there, but the fish run just a little bit bigger there. So maybe we can get into a six pounder. I hope so. So when I'm sight fishing, I primarily use three or four different types of baits. I love to get a topwater bite. So like a little prop bait oftentimes can work, but that's, that's only in certain situations and it doesn't happen all the time. So when it does happen, which it didn't today, I love throwing that. It's, uh, it's an awesome bite seeing them come up and grab it. The other baits I like to throw a lot is going to be just a tube, a get bit baits tube on a spinning reel. I do like to drop shot, of course. Uh, the Gajo Spear Chad caught some fish today. That's kind of my go to uh, plastic to use uh, when I'm sight fishing. And then, of course, I love flipping a creature bait and with heavy braid. You can get away with that, especially in unpressured lakes like this. Uh, for smallmouth, they're just pretty dumb. And so it's fun being able to set the hook, you know, with 65 pound braid on some of these fish. And a lot of times when, when you find a bite like that, you don't have to use a lot of expensive plastics and name brand plastics because they'll pretty much hit anything. I have a box here labeled Bed Baits Miscellaneous and in it is just a bunch of different plastics, some drop shot baits, just some generic creature bait burned through a bunch of you know sweet beavers and rage craws and things like that. It's just convenient. I have bought so much plastic over my lifetime that I just got bends in the basement full of baits I normally wouldn't flip with if I'm really looking for a real bite, you know, punching a mat or, or pitching for, for largemouth. A lot of these baits I just don't use. I'll use the name brand stuff. But for, for this situation, it's a great way to save money uh, being able to fish that way and, you know, not have to burn through all your expensive plastics. Same thing. You know, I got a lot of Zoom Gobies that I'll use, uh, some of the Strike King Gobies, which makes a lot more sense for me to throw than actually throwing like a, a you know, Spirit Chat, things like that, and burning up your baits. It's just, it's a lot easier when you're fishing to be able to go through that assortment instead. Well, hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave any comments and likes below, and as always, until next time, we'll see you on the water.